boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how to do open number story sums. We're going to start off with, story, with a story sum that says, I have four cups and I have seven straws. How many more cups do I need for all my straws? Well, let's have a look, boys and girls. Here's all my straws and my cups, so let's count them out. One, two, three, four cups. Now let's have a look at our straws. One, two, three, four, five, Seven. So boys and girls, just like in the story, I have four cups and seven straws. Now I need to know how many more cups I need. So let's have a look, boys and girls. If I take a straw and I put it into each cup, one, two, three, four, just like four cups. How many straws are left? Let's count them. One, two, three straws. So how many more cups do I need, boys and girls? I need three more cups so that I can put these straws in there. So boys and girls, if I had to draw my sum, my, uh, my answer, let's have a look how we'd do it. So how many cups did I have? Four, that's right. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four cups, boys and girls. Four cups. Now, I had seven straws, so I need to make sure I draw straws. So let's have a look. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Now, boys and girls, we need to have a look at this. And just like we did, we need to see how many straws don't have cups. One, two, three. Three straws don't have cups. So we need to have three more cups. So for my answer, I would write... Three more, three more cups. So there we go, boys and girls. Four cups and seven straws. How many more cups do I need? I need three more cups. So now let's have a look at another one, boys and girls. Let me put this away and I'm going to show you another one. Here, boys and girls, my story sum says this. I have four mugs. I have four mugs and three spoons. So I need to see how many more spoons I need for my mugs. So let's have a look carefully here. One mug, two mug, three mug, four mug. So I've got four mugs, boys and girls. And here are my spoons. Let me count my spoons. One, two, three spoons, boys and girls. So if I look at my mugs and my spoons, I'm going to take one spoon and I'm going to put it into each mug. Just like we did with our straws. One. Two. Three. Three spoons into my mugs. How many mugs don't have a spoon? Just one, hey? So have a look, boys and girls. How many more spoons do I need? I need one. For my one mug. So boys and girls, let's have a look at our board. 
we start off where we've got four mugs, boys and girls. One, two, three, four mugs, boys and girls. And I have three spoons. So let me put my three spoons in. One, two, three spoons, boys and girls. Now, how many mugs don't have a spoon? One, that's right. So it means I need one more spoon. Well done, boys and girls. So my answer is I need, it equals one more spoon. Oh, running out of space on my board there, boys and girls. So I need one more spoon. Okay, now let's do the next one. Clean the board. Put this away and let's get the next one and show you. Now, boys and girls, you've all been asked to make muffins this week. So, here's my muffin tray. And my muffin tray can hold lots of muffins. So, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can hold twelve muffins in my muffin tray. I have six muffin cups. So I have my muffin tray and six muffin cups. My story son says, how many more muffin cups do I need to fill my tray? So let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six muffin cups. So boys and girls, we're going to take those six muffin cups and we're going to put them inside the muffin tray so that we can see how many we need. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's a lot I still need, hey boys and girls? Let's count how many more muffin cups I'm going to need before I can make my muffins. One, two, three, four, five, six more. So boys and girls, I need six more muffin cups to make my muffins. Okay, let's try another one. Boys and girls, this story sum says, I have four containers and I have two lids. How many more lids do I need to close all my containers? So let's have a look. One, two, three, four containers. One, two lids. So boys and girls, if I put my lids on, I can see how many more I'm going to need. One, Now, I've still got some containers. Let's see how many. One, two. So how many more lids am I going to need, boys and girls? Yes, I'm going to need two lids. That's right. One for this one and one for this one. So one, two more lids, boys and girls, so that I need two more lids to close all my containers. Well done. Let's see. 
One last one, boys and girls. I have three teacups. One, two, three teacups. That's right. And I have two sauces. Here are my sauces. So let's have a look. I have one, two, three teacups, and one, two sauces. Now, how many more sauces do I need for my teacups? So let's have a look, boys and girls. If I take one teacup and I put it on my saucer, here we go. Let me take the next teacup and put it on my saucer. That looks good. Now, boys and girls, I have one teacup left, but I have no more saucer. So how many more saucers am I going to need? One. That's right, boys and girls, I need one more saucer for my teacup. Well done. So boys and girls, that is how we do open number sums. I hope that helps you. Now you can get to work and don't forget to bake your muffins. And when you finish your muffins, you can send me lovely pictures and I can see what delicious muffins you've made. I'm going to go and make my muffins and I'll send you a video.